Now, Governor Bashir has also ordered the creation of a special task force to identify and prosecute bogus claims. The crisis has been taxing law enforcement resources. As Focus investigator John Charlton continues his reporting, Louisville Metro Police have been inundated with complaints. Kentucky just announced Thursday that it's shutting down its unemployment system for four days and it's resetting pins for accounts. This is all due to rampant unemployment fraud, which is already monopolizing much of law enforcement's time and resources. This is what I do. Emily Jesse has been working from home during the pandemic. These are icons that I use. So not surprisingly, it was surprising for her to get a letter from Kentucky Unemployment. They claim that I'm eligible for $569 a week. Since she never filed a claim. I've been blessed to work during this whole pandemic. It wasn't hard to figure out her identification had been stolen. You just kind of feel violated. And used to steal the money meant for those who lost their income. On March 3rd, they logged in from this IP address, and then they also logged in on March 16th from this IP address. About two weeks apart, the amount of time to claim payments. The bank information. And have it direct deposited to an account in Utah. Jesse got the information through an open records request with unemployment. About eight other coworkers said that this has also happened to them. Which Louisville Metro Police had recommended. It's a quicker process for us to get those records. Instead of issuing subpoenas. Detective Justin Aubrey has a very heavy caseload. This one is in California. He and the four others in the Financial Crimes Unit usually see around 800 reports on identity theft yes. per year. Just in the first quarter of this year. Overwhelming is a good word. A huge difference. In 12 weeks, there's been almost 1,100 reports. Detective Aubrey estimates 90% or more of them are stolen identities used for unemployment fraud. What's frustrating is we're unable to do provide closure to people that are victims. That's because most of the time these cases are out of LMPD's jurisdiction. The IP addresses are, are not usually local IP addresses and it's just there's no local connection other than the victim being local. Crossing state lines crosses into FBI territory. Every state system uh, is being is being attacked. Uh, aggressively. And this cyber heist goes beyond just U.S. territory. We've noticed that there are actors, OCONUS, which is outside the United States, who are being able, who are targeting those systems. Emily Jesse's world now is focused on more financial security. Now my credit is frozen and it will stay frozen forever unless I have a need to unfreeze it. That's the cold reality of widespread identity theft and unemployment fraud. Open claims with few cases closed. For Focus, I'm John Charlton.